hey youtube your girl is back with another video now as promised i am going to walk you through step by step on how to achieve a 24 karat gold candy apple let's get into it So today we'll be using a base white candy apple. Now you can use whatever color you like. Um, this video will not go over how to dip or clean candy apples. If you need that information, please reference to my previous candy apple videos so you can get caught up on how to make candy apples. But today we're just going to paint them gold. So here I have my white candy apples and the things you'll need is gold luster dust. A, I use a shot glass, a small cup. You're going to need food grade alcohol and a paintbrush. So you are going to pour a small amount of the luster dust into your cup a little bit does go a long way i didn't have many apples to make so i didn't use a whole canister of the luster dust and then you're going to add in the food grade alcohol by the cap full because you do not want your solution to be runny whatsoever that will cause your apples to remain sticky and the alcohol will not dissolve um so yes we want a very thick paste like consistency when you pick up your brush it should not drip if your brush is dripping that means that your um, consistency is a little bit runny and you just need to go in and add a little more luster don't worry um the alcohol content does dissolve once the apples dry so your apples will not taste like um liquor at all and if you do not feel comfortable using um full grade alcohol you can use lemon extract so see here my consistency is nice and thick and there is no drippage So once you get the desired consistency, you are just going to paint your apples just like so. Now, um, for the base of this recipe, or not recipe, for the base of painting candy apples, you can have any color candy apple. And I promise you guys, the color of your candy apple will not show through your candy. I know most people say that you can dip it yellow and then it's better to dip it yellow and paint it gold but that's not necessarily true you can have whatever color candy apple you need so let's say for example you have an order for 50 candy apples but they only want 25 of them painted gold you can go ahead and dip all of the apples in one shot and then you can go ahead and paint the others the other 25 instead of making multiple batches for candy apples so it does not matter what color your apples are underneath the gold because as you'll see here in a moment um it won't show through so you're going to go ahead and paint the entire apple i do not paint bottoms and then you just want to make sure that you're painting in one direction so that it's a uniformed you know finish So you can paint up, you can paint down, but it is wise to paint in one direction so that all of your brush strokes are uniformed. And I'll go around the bottom rim of the apple where the leftover candy has kind of spread out a little bit and I make sure that's painted. You do not have to paint the bottom of your candy apple, um, especially if you're bagging them because the bottom um, has a hard time drying um, if you're gonna bag them up and then it's gonna make your bag sticky and that won't be good for presentation purposes. So I just stick to paint in the top of the apple and then if you have any candy on your stick, you need to go ahead and paint that gold as well. Thank you. 
Another disclaimer that I wanted to mention, when you sell any client, um, anything painted gold, whether it's candy apples or anything that they're going to consume, you need to let them know that the gold luster dust is not um, FDA approved. I recommend this for presentation purposes only. So you should disclaim to your customers that this is non-toxic, but it's not technically edible. So will anything tragic happen to them um, while eating it? No, but you just want to make sure that you issue that disclaimer. A lot of clients purchase these apples, um, you know, to kind of make their sweets table pop or just for um, the look of a royal sweets table. So please make sure that you guys are educating your customers and you are not getting fined by the government. So in this particular apple, you see that I had like a small little hole that was from a bubble. So if this happens, do not panic. Um, more than likely, you'll be able to one, cover it up with the bow, but you just take a smaller paintbrush and then you're going to paint the inside as well. So it blends and is less noticeable. And then if you have leftover paint strokes, you just very, very gently brush them down and they'll blend in with the rest of the paint. So as you guys can see, this method is very simple. Um, they are beautiful and it really does not take much at all to achieve this look. So I have painted all of my apples and I sit them out in open air for about 15 to 20 minutes and I let them dry. And as you can see, I have no gold on my hand and that's how I test them. If they're ready to be bagged, I just take my finger and I run it across it smoothly to see if any of the gold comes out. So I want to thank you guys for supporting another video. Hopefully you guys find this helpful and I can't wait to see you achieve your very own 24 karat gold candy apples. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.